Hey, Shalom, Israel, Mosiah, Christ, bless. Hey, this 10 Minutes of Truth with Captain Hoshia. Uh, today, hey, y'all, we're going to deal with graven images. I'm going to show you something real quick. Uh, let me see. Every, you got a lot of people that's trying to say that this is a graven image, that we worship this image. We don't worship this image, y'all, and um, this is not Christ. Uh, and it's all because... A lot of these Israelite groups or a lot of these people out here, they don't got no understanding of the scripture. So, look, let's go to, uh, let me show you something real quick. Let's get the Ten Commandments. Okay, this is the Ten Commandments right here. Okay, this is the first commandment. It say, thou shall have no other gods before me, thou shall not make it to the any graven image, thou shalt not take the Lord thy, uh, the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Honor thy mother and fa thy father. Um, thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet. Now look, okay, if you just go off this right here and not go off the scriptures, let's get the scriptures. Uh, Exodus chapter 20 now look i'm gonna show y'all something when you look at these scriptures and you read them it's ten commandments in here now you can't go by how man set up the ten commandments you gotta go by how the bible established them so now exodus chapter 20 let's start at verse three it say uh let me get it it say Thou shalt not have no other gods before me. Okay, that's the first commandment right there. Now, the second commandment. Believe it or not, numbers four and five go together. And I ain't going to read all of them, y'all. I'm just going to show you how when they write the Ten Commandments out, they don't write uh, they don't write the whole commandment out like it's supposed to be. Okay, it say, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above. So heaven above is like sharia rooms, right? Uh, angelic figures or things like that. It say, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the sea. So according to the scripture, you can't make nothing that's in the water, nothing that's on the earth, or nothing that's uh, in heaven. You can't make an image of, a, of nothing, y'all. Listen to this. According to what y'all saying, but this to understand another scripture, uh, verse 5, because they always leave out this right here, verse 5. And let's go back to this real quick again and see, when you look at it, look, they leave it out. They leave out verse 5. This this actually one commandment, I'm going to show it to you. Look, uh, you shall not make for yourself an idol. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, you see it all over, y'all. Uh, let me see. Uh, you see that? The engraving image. You see it all over, but verses uh, 4 and 5 is one commandment. So I'm going to read it all together. It say, uh, it say, Thou, uh, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that's in the heaven above, or that is in the earth uh, beneath. Or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. That's what he's talking about. Now, what are y'all? This is not another commandment, y'all. A lot of you uh, brothers and sisters that lack understanding in this, this is not another commandment. Uh, numbers, uh, four, verse 4 and 5 go together. Exodus 20, verse 4 and 5 go together. It say. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I am the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children, upon the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto the thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. So actually, uh, I, I would go through the rest of it to break it down. Y'all just read it for yourself to get the proper... Uh, you know what I'm saying, to break down, you know what I'm saying, to get the proper understanding of what the Ten Commandments is. I just, I'm trying to keep this under 10 minutes. Let's go to Leviticus chapter 26, verse 1. Now, 
remember precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. Listen to what they say. You shall make you no idols, nor graven image. Neither wear you up a standing image. Neither shall you set up any image of stone in your land to bow down unto it. For I am the Lord your God. That's what he talking about, y'all. You can't set up an image to bow down to it. This image right here. This biblical depiction of Christ, we don't bow down to this. We don't pray to this. And if anybody doing it, you, yeah, you is in idolatry because this is not Christ. This is not Christ. This is a biblical depiction of Christ. Now, look, uh, I'm going to show you something. Let's see if we had images back in the days. Matter of fact, I think, uh, let me see, let me see. Okay, look, we're going to go to 1 Kings chapter 6. Now look, let's see if it was King Solomon. Let's see if King Solomon was in sin when he made the cherubims. And let's see what the cherubims is. So, uh, 1 Kings chapter 6. Hey, I'm going to start at verse, uh, let's start at verse 23. It says, and within the oracle, he made two cherubims of olive tree, each 10 cubits high. And five cubits was the one wing of the cherub. And the five cubits, the other wing of the cherub, from the uttermost part of the one wing unto the uttermost part of the other wing were ten cubits. So hold on, he built the big cherub. And the other cherub was ten cubits. Both the cherubs were of one measure and one size. The height of the one cherub was ten cubits, and so was it of the other cherub. So he made these things out of trees too, y'all. I hope y'all know. He took a tree, so that's wood then. This is a wood idol according to y'all doctrine. It said he set the, the, the cherubims within the inner house, and he put these in his house. <laughs> and they stretched forth the wings of the cherubims, so that the wing of the one touched the one wall, and the wing of the other cherub touched the other wall, and their wings touched one another in the midst of the house. So these jumps was big and long as hell. And he overlaid the cherubims with gold. Oh, hold on. You hear that? He overlaid these things with gold, y'all. With gold. So now I want to show y'all something. Let's see what a cherubim is. Let's see what a cherubim is. Okay, now uh, this is the blue ladder. Cherubim. Let's look it up. Okay, cherubim. An angelic being. But did y'all just say <laughs> in Exodus chapter 20, verse, uh, hold on, this is Exodus 32. Okay, Exodus chapter 20, verse 4. Y'all love pulling this on us to try to say that we in idolatry. It say, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is, is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the earth under the water. I mean, the water under the earth. So why in the hell did King Solomon make two angelic figures and set them in the house? He made them out of wood, then set them in gold. He should have died for being in idolatry, which he did uh, die for being in idolatry. But this because his strange wives, he built temples for. I'm going to show you where the sin came in at with that, too. I'm going to show you. Look, it's going to be the vice versa. When he built these cherubims, he wasn't in sin. Uh, matter of fact. Uh, they was praising his, uh, uh, I mean, you know, the greatness of, they, they love their greatness that Solomon had. And hey, look, I want to go from there to first Kings 10. Let's show you something else that Solomon built. Verse 18. It say, moreover, the king made a great throne of ivory and overlaid it with the best gold. The throne had six steps and the top throne was round behind. And there were stays on either side on the palace of the sea. And two lines stood beside the stays. He even put, he put two lines back there. And twelve lines stood there on the one side and on the other upon the six steps. There was not the, uh, not the like made in any kingdom. You see that? Man, Solomon wasn't no joke, man. He even had, just like a lot of y'all, they have them Judah lines. He had them Judah lines set up on the side of his uh, uh on the side of his throne. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. He had twelve of them, but was he in sin? No, there wasn't the sin. I'm gonna show you some. 
This one, the sin came in with King Solomon. Let's just go up one chapter. I think this, let me see. Verse 1. It said, But King Solomon loved many strange women together with the daughter of Pharaoh, women of Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Zidonians, and Hittites, of the nations concerning which the Lord said that unto the children of Israel, Ye shall not go in to them, neither shall they come in unto you, for surely they will turn away your heart after their gods. Solomon clave unto these in love. So he fell in love with these strange wives. It say, uh, I'm just going to jump down and get to the point. Verse uh, 5. For Solomon went after Asherah, the goddess of the Zidonians, and after Micah, the abomination of the Ammonites. And Solomon did even in the sight of the Lord, and went fully, I mean, went not fully after the Lord as did his father. Then did Solomon build a high place for Chemosh, the abomination of Moab, in the hill that is before Jerusalem, and Molech, the abomination of the children of Ammon. And likewise did he for all his strange wives, which burnt incense and sacrifice unto their gods. That's where he messed up at right there. When he built it, that's when idolatry come in, y'all. When you start to worship, when you start to worship an idol. He started, uh, he built incense for these strange wives, and they were burning incense and sacrificing to these idols. That was the sin right there. The same with uh, the children of Israel in the wilderness. Look. Okay, uh, I don't want to read all this. I'm just going to get to the point. Verse, uh, this uh, Exodus chapter 32, verse 3. And all the people break off the golden earrings which were in their ears and brought them unto Aaron. And he received them at their hand and fashioned it with a graven tool after he had made it a molten calf. So, okay, he made a molten calf. Let's see when the sin came in. The sin didn't come in when he made a molten calf. I'm going to show you where the sin came in at. And they said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. This is when the sin came in. When they said, These be, they, these be your gods, that ain't going to be an idolatry. When they made the golden calf, I can go, I can sit up here and um, I can go make me some out of gold right now. I can make me some out of gold. It ain't going to become idolatry till I start to worship that gold. So I start to worship that and call it God. Let's prove it. Let's prove it. Verse 5. And when Abraham saw it, he built an altar before it. And Abraham made proclamation and said, Tomorrow is a feast to the Lord. And they rose up early on tomorrow and burnt offerings. You see that? They burnt offerings and brought peace offerings. And the people sat down to eat and to drink and rose up the play. They start to make sacrifices to these calves. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go. Get thee down, for thy people which thou broughtest out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. Now God going to tell you what they did. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. They have made them a molten calf and have worshipped it. You hear that? They worshipped it. That's what uh, King Solomon Strange Wives was doing. They was worshipping and burning incense to idols. They pissed God off. God said, don't have no other God for me. Don't build no... Uh, don't, don't set up no images in the land to bow down to them and worship. They have made them, because when Solomon made that shirimum, he wasn't in sin. When he put them lines around his throne, he was not in sin. It said they have made them a molten calf and have worshipped it and have sacrificed thereunto and said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. You hear that? That's where the sin came in there when they sacrificed and started to worship it. Okay, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. I think that's about it right there, y'all. So, uh, the proper way to read that, Leviticus 26 and 1, you shall make you no idols, nor graven image, neither rear you up a standing image, neither shall you set it up, set up an image of stone in your land to bow down unto it, for I am the Lord your God. You don't supposed to worship it, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Going right back to Exodus 20, 
4 and 5, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not buy thyself to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. So, hey, y'all, with that, hey, I hope y'all get some understanding out of this video. I think that was everything that I need to break, bring out. Look, y'all, this is not idolatry until you start to worship it. You know what I'm saying? Until you start to bow down to it. Until you start to make sacrifices to it. Until you start to uh, uh, pray pray to it. You know what I'm saying? Just like them Catholics. Hold on. Let me see if I can pull the image up real quick. Let me see. See, let's see if we can find some images. <laughs> you see this right here? This is idolatry. You see that? They got the cross right there. You know what I'm saying? They bind down. Well, who they bind down and worshiping in the Catholic sanctuary? You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, this idolatry, too. You know what I'm saying? They worship the Pope. This idolatry. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to find one of the most famous things that they have. And look at that. This is a damn abomination right here. That's a damn abomination. Okay, let me see some. Uh, okay, yeah, I really don't want to go too far because when you do the image search, you never know what Esau have come up. Hey, y'all be looking for my video, Esau, the great fornicator. Uh, it should be coming before this one or after this one, man. I got so many of these videos coming, y'all. Um, but look, hey, that's 10 minutes of truth. Uh, I was trying to find some more of them buying down to the Virgin Mary, but I don't want to type Virgin Mary in, and all type of wickedness end up popping up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we try to make these videos short, simple, and quick. With that, 10 minutes of truth. Shalom. Most high Christ. Hello, I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join our UIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.